Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous classes, we have seen poverty, poverty estimation in the Indian context, as well as we have seen the international poverty line. In the segue of understanding poverty, today I have for you the pre-independence poverty estimation in the Indian context. So let's get started. So we can look at the pre-independence poverty estimation in the Indian context from three different angles. The first one was through Dada by Nauroji's lens. The second is from National Planning Committee's lens and the third is the Bombay Plan lens. So let us look at what Dada by Nauroji had in store for us as far as poverty estimation is concerned in the Indian context. So Dada by Nauroji through his Poverty and un-British rule in India made earliest estimation of poverty. So this book was written by Dada Bhai Noroji in 1901. So the earliest estimates of poverty in the Indian context can be seen from this book written by Dada Bhai Noroji. Furthermore, this book included or the po poverty line envisaged by this book say, said that it was based on two different things. First is called as the cost of subsistence and the other is called as the minimum basic diet. Now one is talking about the monetary aspect of the same and the other is talking about food per se or commodity per se. So let us look at what was the uh, poverty line when we look at the cost of subsistence and what was it when we look at the minimum basic diet. So whenever I'm looking at cost of subsistence, the poverty line was set at rupees 16 to rupees 35 per capita per year. So this is how you look at the cost of subsistence as a measure of poverty. Furthermore, the mi minimum basic diet uh, should be in terms of certain commodities and the commodities are listed here. The basic diet includes what all things it, uh, it included rice or flour or dal, mutton, vegetables, ghee, vegetable oil and salt. So these were certain commodities which were listed by Dada Bhai Noroji to look at the estimation of poverty in, in 1901 in the Indian context. So I hope the idea of Dada Bhai Noroji's uh, lens is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the National Planning Committee which was set up in 1938. Now this committee was set up by Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose under the chairmanship of Jawahar Lal Nehru. So now let us look at what the uh, committee was looking at. So the committee was set up under the chairmanship of Jawahar Lal Nehru and the aim of the same was to look at the economic plan to ensure adequate standard of living. So this is the primary aim that means the aim of this committee was to look at or to make a plan to ensure adequate standard of living in India. So this is how the National Planning Committee uh, looked at poverty estimation. So now you can see that from minimum cost or subsistence uh, we are moving towards something called as adequate standard of living. Now let us look at what was the poverty line set up by the planning committee in 1938. Now the poverty line set up by the National Planning Commission was ranging from rupees 15 to rupees 20 per capita per month. Here I am looking at per capita per month. Here I was looking at per capita per year. So this is the distinction between the two. Yeah. So this is again an important point as far as the National Planning Commission poverty line estimation is concerned in the Indian context. And it was in 1938. I hope the idea is pretty much clear. Let us now move to the third, which is, which is not coming from any uh, government uh, per se. But this Bombay plan in 1944 was a set of proposals. Now these proposals were given by whom? These proposals were given by influential or a small group of influential businessmen in Bombay for what? For the, for the plan or for the development of post-independence economy to probably sketch out the development plan for post-independence economy because it was done in 1944. So you can see the, the ways in which the different uh, lenses brought about by Dada Bhai Noroji or the pla uh, by Jawaharlal Nehru under the pla National Planning Committee or by a small group of influential businessmen in the Bombay plan gives us an idea of how poverty was estimated back then and the proposals uh, were, uh, were, were towards the development of Indian economy post independence. And when we look at the Bombay plan, the poverty line was set at rupees 75 per capita per year. So now you can see the movement from 16 to 35 in 1901, we have moved towards per capita per year, we have moved towards something called as rupees 75 per capita per year. So this is how you look at the poverty estimation in the pre-independence phase in the Indian context. So I hope the idea is pretty much clear. In the next class, I'll be talking about the post-independence poverty estimation phase. So please stay tuned. Thank you.